Hello and welcome to the Edu Leaders show on the Edu Bulletin where we bring you the latest insights and trends from the world of education. I'm Daisy and I'm excited to guide you through this episode. We have an esteemed guest joining us, Dr. Neeru Arora, principal of Gobindgarh Public School in Mandi Gobindgarh, District City Coordinator, Fatehgarh and founder secretary of the Fateh Sahodya complex shared her insights on the impact of artificial intelligence and machine learning on education she highlighted that while ai has the potential to transform education challenges remain in implementing the new education policy particularly in preparing teachers for diverse student interests now let's move directly into our interview over to you rumani Let's hear what Dr. Neeru Arora had to say. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. We have with us a very special guest. She is Dr. Neeru Arora, Principal Gobindgarh Public School, Mandi Gobindgarh District City Coordinator for Tegar District, Founder Secretary for the Sahodya Complex. Welcome to the summit ma'am and how's your experience being here? Oh, it's a lovely experience and especially this topic that how artificial intelligence and machine learning gonna impact education that's quite near to my heart yeah i believe that artificial intelligence is definitely gonna revolutionize the world it is already doing but to reaching to a stage where our students become the leaders so i am waiting for that thank you that's great ma'am so talking about you know all the education developments that we have been seeing in the sector so what are your thoughts on you know implementation of nep in the schools and what are the core challenges that schools of today are facing in implementing the new education policy your thoughts so as we all know that new education policy talks about uh, bringing the old uh, gurukul kind of a system into place mm-hmm. um i mean there are number of very good points about national education policy which makes it special like um they are talking about bagless schools they are talking talking about art integrated projects they are talking about sports integration in schools they are talking about basically they are talking about giving agency to children you know mm-hmm. so but the major challenge which i see as a principal is that this generation is actually changing mm-hmm. their interests are varied and our teachers are not equipped to handle those interests mm. you know no matter what training you do um, until a teacher you know has that motivation within and ob- obviously the motivation is never just intrinsic yeah. it is intrinsic as well as extrinsic so both these motivations we the educators and the people from education industry the government and the private organization we all have to work together right. until we give that agency to our teachers mm. our children you know will not be ha- able to have that agency uh, in the previous question i was talking about that artificial intelligence is impacting schools in a in a deeper sense um, okay. so there are three levels to it number one level which is that artificial intelligence or machine learning or computer system provides you a kind of facilitation system right, right? so second is that f- we go beyond facilitation mm-hmm. and our children actually collaborate with that technology the third stage is that is of leadership where our children become the leaders where they augment along with the technology and where they take the things in their own hands yeah. so i believe that bridge from national education policy to taking that to that level of implementation of the latest technologies yeah. and uh, bringing that 21st century skills into education it is it is a long path Mm-hmm. and we need to actually break that path into small small milestones so we are into the first milestone right now mm-hmm. and i believe with our with the interventions and the summits like this which is happening today so we are definitely going to reach to second or the third milestone yeah any particular initiative that you know you have been doing at your school that will you know go in this direction we do a l- number of things in our school basically uh, if we talk about primary wing we are emphasizing a lot on skills and uh, you know uh, we are not just having many projects we are also having many exposure visits for our children yeah. the exposure visits are diverse you know uh, ranging from industry to even the food points and how to shop around and we are giving them stage exposures we are also sending parents kind of advisories how do they need to handle their children in the new changing world 
and uh, there are so many things happening on ground and what now the major change which we are bringing in Gobindgarh Public School is that we are actually um, uh, making the student to do everything in school instead of giving them a homework and it becomes a parent's project <laughs> so we are stopping that and everything in school we are uh, doing and we try to make our bagless days so well planned that all our you know subject enrichment activities and everything happens in school yeah. recently i've been into a class and children were reading more pressure Okay. So I talked to them, okay, tell me how pressure helps you to wash utensils. Mm. So the children were looking at my face and slowly, gradually they opened up. Then we had a, a complete one day, uh, one hour, one day workshop on pressure and how it mm. happens in our school. Right. These kind of things keep on happening in my school. Even uh, we do a lot of voice and choice kind of things. Mm. Our holidays homework reflects that. So it's like that. I mean, national education policy has actually brought a change in our mindset up also. Thank you. Yeah. That's great, ma'am. It was lovely to hear all the great initiative that you have been doing at your school. So thank you so much, ma'am, for gracing the 22nd edition of Ch uh, our summit in the Chandigarh city. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us for this enlightening discussion. We hope you found it as insightful and inspiring as we did. Save 8534845670 and send hi on WhatsApp for updates on the EduLeaders show, featuring inspiring interviews from the education sector.